Hello, I'm ABX Toycat, and welcome back to another video. As a lot of you already know, Minecraft for Wii U did just release today, and as a result of that, a lot of you are going to be starting new worlds on the Wii U edition. And the big question you have to ask yourself when you start a new world, whether you're a new player or whether you're an existing player, is how am I going to find diamonds? Diamonds are, of course, one of the most important bits of Minecraft, as I'm sure I don't need to tell you twice, and basically finding them can be pretty tricky for the first time. So today, I'm going to be showing you not just the generic, oh, here's one really useful way of finding diamonds, but instead, I'm going to be showing you five separate useful ways to find diamonds in your Minecraft world so you can pick one that works for you and just go ahead and do it and get these lovely things that can do so much. So yeah, please do like it if you do like it because it helps out the channel a lot and let's know you do like this and want to see more stuff like this, but let's get straight into it, shall we? So this is going to be loosely a top five list uh, of five pretty good ways, um, but you know, just bear that in mind. We're going to start with the least effective of the five, but it's still a pretty useful way because it's one that I think has a lot of fun, you know, attached to it that necessarily isn't just, you know, the, one of the best ways it has, and that's basically trying to find an abandoned mine shop and then using that abandoned mine shop to find diamonds. And you might think, okay, so abandoned mine shelves, yep, I, I'm familiar with these things. How do you find these? So finding these is the bit that might make it not the best method, and why it's number five, uh, because you basically just kind of have to dig around. It's a one in a thousand chance of spawning in a chunk, so eventually you'll find one. And if you just dig around for long enough, you'll find abandoned mine shop. And you might be like, Okay, so how do I find diamonds here, and why is it so good? So, the reason this is so good for finding diamonds is because it's like a pre-dug cave. You can look around, and you'll find yourself a bunch of ores. So, you can see there's some iron on the wall here. If I go long, okay, there's some coal on the wall. You can find gold. You can find all these different things. And if you're low enough down, you can actually find diamond in the wall this way. So, if you do get really lucky, and you find an abandoned mine shaft at below about Y20, so look at that Y corner, uh, then you'll be really lucky. Explore that thing, because you'll probably find some diamonds in the wall. But the second way you can find diamonds in this thing is by looking around for abandoned mine shaft chests. So, uh, this one just over here, and basically if you open this chest like we're going to do now, you can <laughs> you can get stuff like melon seeds, bread, and melon seeds and bread. But in all seriousness, you have a decent chance of getting yourself useful stuff like lapis lazuli and like coal and stuff, but also you have a decent chance at diamonds. And given that there is two to three of these per abandoned mine shaft, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less, you have a really good chance of finding some diamonds. And if you want to have a fun way of finding diamonds, a way that actually makes sense, because, you know, when you're just digging through the caves by yourself like this, it's kind of boring. But doing this, it kind of makes sense. Like, yeah, I found a, a you know, a dwarf stash of um, diamonds that he left behind thousands of years ago, and now they're mine. Makes total sense. I'm going to take those to the bank. And if you want to do it in a way that, you know, works out fun for you, this is one of those ways uh, I think would it, it makes sense, and it's pretty fun. So, yeah, that is uh, method number five. What is method number four? So, method number four is one that I always do when I first load up a seed, because it's actually really handy for a bunch of different reasons, not just the key one of it, and uh, if you bear in mind if you want to have this exact seed, because it's a really cool seed that you'll see uh, for the video, uh, I will try and link it down below, and if I don't, remind me in the comment. But yeah, basically, um, one of the best ways to find, uh, you know, uh, diamonds is actually to go to villages. So NPC villages, you know, these places, just full of villages and all this different stuff, they're kind of useful by themselves. They offer you food, they offer you a bunch of different cool blocks, and uh, they also offer you a roughly 50% chance at finding a blacksmith. So, the reason a blacksmith is so cool is not just the lava and the furnaces you get for free, and the, you know, the fake anvil that was from before four animals, but also what you'll find in here is inside the chest, a bunch of random loot. So in this case, we got nine iron, three obsidian, and some apples, and even though there's no diamonds, it's still pretty good, right? And that's why I think it's worth going to, regardless of, uh, you know, whether you're, you know, hardcore looking for diamonds or not, because when you first, you know, get onto a world, you want to look around for these things anyway, so you want to go to plains, biomes, and deserts, and eventually you'll find one. So, yeah, if we just go to more villages, you'll see that some of them don't have blacksmith chests at all, but if we just keep trying and we really get lucky, we might just find one. So, there's none over here, but if we go to the south, we'll find one, and there is five villages on the seed. You usually have about two to three. So you've got a decent, you know, attempt at finding diamonds, and you might as well do it. Imagine, you know, sometimes uh, on one of my seeds, I found diamonds within, like, a minute of spawning, and it's like, yeah, that's nice. Imagine, you know, if I'd done it the traditional branch mining way, it would have taken me a very, very long time. So, yeah, that is uh, how you find diamonds from a blacksmith chest. It's not the most likely thing, but it's so useful anyway, and you can do it fast if you get lucky. And although luck isn't what you always want to strive for, in this case, you know, it's luck on top of already, you know, decent luck, so why not do it? So, method number three, in my opinion, of finding diamonds is uh, kind of like a more secure, uh, but less, sometimes less likely version of the previous one, uh, because basically if you do find yourself a desert temple, like this one, you are very likely to find diamonds in there. So, the loot you get in these is actually randomized, at least it is on all the other console editions, and therefore probably is going to be here, um, and basically you can find desert temples anywhere in a desert. So, slightly less common to find by themselves than it is to find a village, but when you do find them, they're a lot better. So, you can see this seed, I believe it has four of these desert temples, which is insane. Uh, if you go inside them and then you go down here and you make like a ladder or something like that, what you'll actually be able to do is find, okay, so make sure you disarm the uh, uh, trap plate. you actually be able to find four chests. These four chests have a decent chance of generating with some diamonds in. So let's hope you actually got lucky here and have some diamonds. Boom, a diamond. And that, that totally counts. I mean, 
If you want to make it diamonds, then you'd explore a little of them. But yeah, if you have uh, one or two of these on your seed, you have amazing odds at finding diamonds, and it's pretty easy to do. You just take a pickaxe in there, you break the blocks down, then you you you, you know blo uh, block yourself back up, and within you know three four minutes you can get diamonds. It's not going to be every seed. If you don't have a big desert, you're not going to find desert temples. But it's one of these things where it's like you might as well explore the surface of your world anyway before you go underground. And if you are going to explore the surface, might as well try and maximize your chance of diamonds. So yeah, tip number three. Check your desert temples, check your jungle temples, just check these things because you might just get amazingly lucky. And with a, a temple, you're actually quite likely to get lucky. Is it? Is it even getting lucky if you do it like roughly 50% of the time? I don't know. That's your question to answer. But, you know, the, the next uh, little pro tip I'm going to be showing you is the more traditional one. So, uh, the, the second best way of finding diamonds is the very traditional way that if you ask someone what's the best way to find diamonds, they'll be like, sigh, this is the way you want to do it. Because what you need to do is you need to dig down all the way down to about y equals 11. So, dig down and uh, also don't dig down straight down, make sure you bring a ladder or you do something like that. Digging down's a bad idea. So you want to dig down so you get to a Y11. I went way overkill, so you just go to about here. And then, you know, assuming you haven't dug down because you probably fall in lava if you do that, so please don't. <laughs> you want to just dig forward and uh, make yourself kind of this main branch thing. So this is uh, this is like the, the main tunnel. Um, also, because I'm, I'm in creative, I'm going to do this especially. But yeah, just make a main tunnel like this that's two by two and just dig this as far as you want it to go. Do you want it to go all the way to the other side of the map? That's something you can do. But this isn't the main part of how to find diamonds because now what you want to do is off this main tunnel. So we'll use uh, glowstone for light. What you want to do is every three blocks, every two blocks, you'll find all the diamonds, but every three blocks is more efficient. You want to you know mine down a branch and eventually you'll find diamonds. And the reason this works so well, you might be like, this is just, uh, you know, this is basically me making a centipede in the ground, how is this going to find me done? So, the reason... <laughs> wow, there we go. Proves my point. So, the reason this is so effective at finding diamonds, and the reason I found them in... What was that? Like, a minute into the method? is because of the fact that when you're at this layer, this is where diamonds spawn the most. Diamonds to make up something like 0.02% of the blocks in Minecraft, but when you're at this layer, you know, they're actually pretty common. They're not common common, but they're, you know, well enough to find, which means what you want to do is you want to dig so you find every block. And the way to do this is, if you, again, if you leave three blocks in between each one, it means that any diamond vein, as long as it's not stuck in this tiny little thing here, will be found. And you're only mining about a third of the blocks here, because every block you mine reveals six more. So if this was diamonds, I'd know it was diamonds. If this was diamonds, I'd know it was diamonds, if this, so on and so forth, I reveal those six blocks for mining too, and that's why this is so efficient, you reveal six blocks every time you mine too, and because you're very unlikely to find the ones in these little mid veins, you know, in between your free tunnels, then it means that you're actually digging even more than that because of the way diamond veins work, so yeah, you you basically get to explore the world, uh, and you know, find diamonds, while digging roughly a third to even slightly less than a third off it, and in this case, we got ourselves how many diamonds, so it's it's two two diamonds, three diamonds, it might just be three, oh, four diamonds, is it, is it just four, oh, five diamonds, is it going to be six? Six diamonds. So I just got myself six diamonds just from that amazing luck right there. And again, if you if you do use the seed, here are the coordinates. But yeah, pro tip for life right there. Uh, it honestly will save you a bunch of time in Minecraft. If you need like 50 diamonds, this is the way you just do it over and over again. And uh, honestly, I think this is the best way if you want to just hammer down and do a bunch of diamonds. But what if you only want some diamonds to get a pickaxe or you want some diamonds to uh, make a sword? You just want to make one diamond thing and you really hate this method. And even if you don't, I think if you only need one set of diamonds, there is a much better way than doing this. Because this, on average, I'd say it takes about 10, 15, 20 minutes to find a diamond, you know, a, a vein of diamonds. That's, you know, that's time that can be in elsewhere. So if you don't want to do this, if digging underground bores you, uh, regardless of your circumstances, a faster way is actually to make yourself a nether portal. And you might think you need diamonds to make a nether portal. You actually don't. You can use two buckets. I'll, I'll really show you in the creative thing. If you have two buckets like this, so I, I have three buckets now apparently, if you place the water down, then you place the lava down, so all you need is a source of lava. You can actually make yourself a nether portal like so. I do it so much on stream, so I'm not going to show you right now, but uh, here's one I made earlier. <laughs> and basically we head through this, we'll go into the nether. And you might think, how is the nether going to find me diamonds? So, uh, you know, if you haven't played Minecraft, Minecraft since the last few updates, basically in the uh, you know in the Nether you can actually find Nether Fortress chests, and these Nether Fortress chests will have a you know a decent chance of finding diamonds. Even if you don't find diamonds, you get horse armor and stuff. But there's so many of them that you're almost guaranteed one in each one. So what you want to do at first? I mean, this is a terrible spawn for a Nether because I've got to walk across you know a bridge of um, gravel and uh, soul sand. Let's actually break this just for oh, it's actually mostly not a bad thing. But yeah, basically uh, you know massive thing of uh, gravel. Like, yeah, I, I want to knock this down just for giggles, but. 
yeah, you want to find yourself the Nether Fortress, you want to go into the Nether Fortress, uh, and you want to find the chest section of it. So, in this case, it's an incredibly de dangerous one, but it's still technically faster if you can do this just right. You want to just uh, go through the Nether Fortress until you find a very kind of inside element. So, here it looks inside, but it's just because there's Neverack. You want to find it, so it's literally enclosed on all sides. So, again, this doesn't count. You need it to be enclosed on all sides by Nether Brick. That's how you know you're inside, because although this looks inside, it's actually not. Here we go, now we're inside. Then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and... Um, you know, look around this sort of area. So if you go up and you find this sort of area, you know, you want to look around and be like, oh, there might be a chest somewhere. And basically, if you just do this for long enough, you'll find so many chests. I don't know what the average number of chests in a Nether Fortress is, but it's got to be like 10 or something like that. And even the chests where you don't find diamonds, even the chests where you get unlucky and only find like iron and horse armor, you're still getting amazing stuff you need anyway. So uh, if we just look around here, you look, oh, there we go, we got a chest. If we look in the chest, we've got, okay, you've got iron horse armor, you've got a saddle, you've got some gold horse armor, and then you know, that's just the first chest. That's just stuff we don't really want too badly. Over here, we've got ourselves, um, you know, iron horse armor and a gold bar again. So much horse armor. I think the horse armor to everything else ratio is bad. But then over, oh, and then over here, we've got ourselves two diamonds, a gold sword, and some iron. So just like that, you can get your first diamonds pretty easy. If you do just want a diamond sword or you just want an enchantment table and you really hate mining, this way is great. If you want to, you know, do it fast, then you can do this. And it's technically kind of dubious, but you can reset the never, come back in, get them again, over and over and over again. And it's something you can do. And on the Wii U edition, there is no leaderboards or anything to care about. So, you know, it might be worth, something worth doing. But at that point maybe just give yourself some diamonds in creative and go back to survival i don't know you 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 be the boss of your own rules obviously that's what minecraft's all about but yeah that is a just something you can do so that is the five top five ways to actually find diamonds in minecraft for wii u edition obviously this does apply to all the other consoles for minecraft and as a heads up if you are a wii u player every single video i make on my channel about console minecraft does also apply to you so pro tip for life right there i keep saying pro tip for life you know what? that's that's this whole video this whole video is a pro tip for your minecraft life so i hope you did all enjoy it if you did like it please do like it and let me know share if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here let me know in the comments down below if you know in case you were the sort of person that listened to this and like, oh yeah i know all of this already uh, let me know which of these you prefer and think is the best because you know some people are gonna be like nope branch mining just beats the never but let me know again in the comments down below and uh, yeah I'd, be, I'd love to see the conversation stuff down there otherwise thank you all very much for watching a uh, bunch of fun content coming up especially because there's a big update for minecraft console coming out very soon and yeah i'll see you all in the next video so thank you all for watching and goodbye